to the uh, the uh, West Point, and uh, I I was I was pretty dedicated to be uh, uh, actually a historian. I was one that major in history, uh, but I had you know I was just terrible experience with the professors, and I decided uh, I'd, I'd switch to engineering. Uh, the engineer officers were tremendous uh, and just amazing opportunity to spend with them, to learn. Uh, and just expand my wheelhouse on things that I never really thought about in terms of solving some of the most critical problems in our nation, uh, while at the same time serving our nation uh, in the Army. Uh, so by the time I'd, I'd gone through uh, my four years of the Academy, I fell in love with the Corps of Engineers, love the regiment, love what the Corps does, uh, and it's just been a blessing ever since, a continuing expansion uh, for almost three decades now in my case, of serving the, the soldiers, uh, uh, the citizens uh, that I've, I've, I've worked with today, uh, stakeholders, partners, uh, titans of industry, uh, all kinds of people that I humbly, coming uh, from the state of Alabama, uh, never expected to be able to be in a position to work with such tremendous people, much less just the citizens of Arkansas and, and I mean, just incredible, incredible folks that I've been able to spend a few minutes with here and there, uh, in addition to hear their hopes and dreams and how we're able to help them achieve. Our primary and, and first and foremost function is flood risk management. Navigation is a very close second. Uh, the, the incredible impact it has in terms of jobs and being able to support our local economies, provide a tax revenue base that allows us to have the social services that we have. Uh, navigation is incredibly important to our mission. Uh, but it, it has to be behind flood risk management, of course, which uh, is dedicated to the lives, safety, and livelihoods uh, of our fellow citizens. Um, but like I said, a very close second is navigation. So if you think about three and a half billion dollars in, in GDP that, that can annually move up and down the river, that is an incredible contribution uh, to our nation and its success. The fact that it serves at 12 state region and you know can, can uh, support, uh, one estimate we have is 800,000 jobs that benefit off the river, 70,000 on the water industry alone, but 800,000 in, in a greater 12 state region that are supported by the MCARNS operations gives just a little bit of an of a, uh, indication of what the importance is of the system. And, and it's not just in navigation, but I mean, hydropower, uh, you know, some of the other commerce recreation activities that we have going on to, on, on top of that. Uh, and ultimately, you know, I think we're just beginning. I mean, the next 50 years have incredible promise for what the MCARNs can deliver to continue to sustain our growing communities. In 1927, there was a terrible, terrible flood um, and if you ever read the book Rising Tide, they kind of talk about uh, some of the consequences of that particular event. But, but tens of thousands of people were killed uh, and billions of dollars in damage happened. Uh, subsequent to that flood and their flood in the 30s, uh, Congress, you know, finally uh, you know, found, found some authorization and appropriation. And they built uh, some flood reservoir structures in Oklahoma that uh, are able to capture the vast majority of the, of the watershed. Uh, in an effort to help mitigate uh, quite a bit of the uh, floods that were happening in those days that were so devastating because they had so, such, you know, such few controls. You, you flash forward to 2019 and you look at the event, uh, you know, Keystone Dam alone in Oklahoma passed eight times its flood storage. Uh, that is an incredible amount of water and yet still the system was able to bring that peak flow down and preserve lives and livelihoods. Uh, we, we did have some homes that were flooded. I'm not saying there weren't people that weren't impacted, and, and our hearts go out to those folks because I certainly wouldn't feel any different if it was my home. But at the end of the day, uh, we didn't lose near the lives and didn't have the billions of dollars in damage uh, that that event, if it had happened uh, back in the 1920s, would have killed 10,000 more people uh, or more. Uh, it would have been an incredibly devastating event. Uh, so having an opportunity to have uh, the MCARNS and its system, the flood reservoir structure, that doubles to provide uh, the navigation year-round, uh, as well as generates hydropower, provides ecosystems, water supply, does so many functions in addition to recreation and fishing and all the things that we enjoy in the river that you'd think in a park. Uh, it's just amazing to have it and be able to reduce our risk at the same time. If we took stock of what we got out of it in the last 50 years, and then we took a large look at where demographics are growing, how population is shifting and growing into the future, and we realize the change that's gonna happen in the next 10 years, 20 years, and start to kind of put that out on a map of where these folks are moving to, you'll find they're moving against the water. They're moving to where they can get jobs, where they can get uh, support for their families, where they can enjoy the, the beauty of this nation, 
where they can enjoy the MCARNs, essentially, and use the MCARNs to help sustain their livelihoods in the future of the nation. Uh, so I think the potential the next 50 years, I don't think we've, we've got a very good measure of, of how much more sizable that impact will be than the previous 50 years that we've had it in service. I have never been so floored as I've been by my neighbors, uh, by the folks that I get to work with on a daily basis, the employees of the Little Rock District, uh, the folks in the governor's office, folks in all of our representatives and senator's offices. I, I cannot fathom, I never in my mind would have thought we had such a dedicated team of people committed to the same goal of taking care of our community and advancing uh, the future of Arkansas, Oklahoma, and, and the other uh, states that benefit from the work that we do. Uh, I'm, I'm just blessed to have that opportunity to be able to represent and serve with them uh, for the short period that, that I'm in command of the Little Rock District.